but when you really dive deep and look at the details, there is no direct correlation that they've been able to make. Now, it was a large study in that they looked at 45,000 women between the ages of 35 and 75, but they were taken in a sister study. So women who had a close relative who had died of breast cancer. So these are people that probably already have a family, they already have a family history, so they already are increased risk. And they followed them for eight years. And in looking at them for eight years, they saw that about 2,700 of those patients had developed breast cancer, which was roughly, when you look at the global study, only about 9% more than would have been expected. So the FDA starts to get worried if something almost doubles or triples. So if it was a 200% mm -hmm. or 300% more increased risk. So 9% globally, not as much. But when you look at it a little deeper, 10% of the population was African American or there were black women. And these black women, there was a 60% increase in the incidence of developing breast cancer. Uh, and so that was a little bit alarming. So um, is, it, is it a certain kind of hair dye? We're talking about a specific ingredient or permanent versus temporary? Right. So I mean, that's these, a concern. Yeah, that's, a, that's exactly. So these were darker, the darker hair dyes carried a greater risk, uh, especially in the black women. Those that uh, had more exposure to this hair dye and that they frequently dyed their hair every five, once every five to eight weeks had a great, even greater risk. And this was significantly greater than the white women in the study. Why are we seeing it more in these women? Well, black women in general have always been known to have a higher risk of developing breast cancer. So that might be it alone. But there's also thought that there are ingredients in their hair dye that puts them at risk, uh, specifically parabens. And parabens are nothing new. We are seeing more and more products being pulled off the market or certain products not even carrying parabens because they tend to mimic hormones, specifically estrogen. And we know that with an increased exposure to estrogen, you can definitely increase your risk uh, of developing breast cancer. You know, that's a concern because, you know, a dark hair dye, you know, or, of course. or what have you, you know, many women, uh, many men, they dye their hair like that. Are there we know any? that you're dyeing your hair, you're Andrew. Because <laughs> you're the only this gray one here. Is all natural, my Not friends. us, darling. <laughs> well, <laughs> just speak joking. for yourself. <laughs> I know, no, it's fully dyed. No, it, it is a concern, though, because we yes. do go and what, every four or five weeks we go in right. and we get it done. Yes. Uh, is it products that are maybe. Um, off the shelf or or do they want us to go to professionals or right. are there any other beauty products that are linked to this? We we don't, so now there's chemi the chemical straighteners, there was about a 30% increased chance. So these have become extremely popular. Mm -hmm. uh, so they saw 30% increased chance where it was 60% with the darker hair dyes. Um, so what is it? We don't know. I mean, we definitely know that there might be parabens, but there's about 85,000 carcinogens that we get exposed to on a daily basis mm. per the Environmental Protection Agency. So there might be things that we don't even know that are affecting So there's us. no real conclusion on this. Right. What happens next and what's the advice for anybody who might be using this might not be sure what to do going forward. So be forward. cautious, right? Maybe don't do it so frequently. Um, they do, we do know that some of the semi-permanent or temporary dyes do not carry these chemicals. So you may want to talk to your hairstylist about perhaps using one of those products if possible um, until we find out more about what ingredients it is specifically that is increasing this risk. Now we just, you know, a cautionary note, we still know that inactivity, um, smoking, you know, uh, being being obese or not working out, those put you at greater risk yeah. of developing breast cancer than these hair dyes. So everything in perspective. Mm -hmm. You know, there's obviously still things that one can do to minimize that risk. But since this just came out last, last, last week and it was a pretty big headline, I wanted to kind of, you know, offer some clarity that it's inconclusive at this point. It's just good to be aware. Yes. And right. keep your eyes out on, on the products that you're using. Yeah. All right. Dr. Sabrina Fabi, thank you so much. Thanks for having me, guys. Thank you.